Also, herzlich willkommen bei der Firma Bowl, organisiert durch am E-Informatik, e e das will ich sagen, yeah. äh, Informatik und Hermann. Und das ist folgendermaßen gestanden gekommen. Ein Verwaltungsrat von mir hat gesagt, du musst den Hermann kennenlernen. Dann haben wir den Hermann kennengelernt. Dann hat er gesagt, er kennt jemanden aus der Ukraine, der schaut, wie können wir offen und so zusammen mit der Schweiz. Dann haben wir gesagt, du zu einem Special Event, wie wir das heute machen. Hm? Also herzlichen Dank mal im Hermann für das Organisieren. Maria wird nachher noch etwas sagen. Ihr habt auch gesehen, die App, die ihr habt, können abladen und die können fotografieren. Wenn ihr ein Foto anladet, dann sehen die alle, die heute dabei sind. Und man kann das abladen und Filme machen etc. Ich weise noch hin auf den nächsten Stammtreff, den wir haben. Auch interessant in Wallisele. Wie Sport die wie Sport die Kraft hat, die Welt zu verändern. Das passt auch zum heutigen Ding. Oder? Sportlich sind ja ein paar ausgeschlossen worden. By the way, heute ist noch eine Konferenz in ja. Lugano, wo ich gestern zurückgefahren bin äh, zu dem Thema. Und was ich ganz speziell mit hinweisen möchte, ist auch wieder ein bisschen Brück. Im Symposium haben wir ja im Herbst unter anderem die Strom- und Energieproblematik die wir werden beleuchten. Aber auch die weltpolitische Lage. Da haben wir Thomas Bohr, CEO von der Oxbow, haben wir dabei, der Christoph Brandt, wo die verschiedenen Themen anschauen. Das seht ihr auf der Webseite. Könnt ihr euch noch anmelden, das wäre am 8.9. Wir werden die Broschüre dann demnächst drucken. Das Lustige ist, ich möchte es im kleineren Rahmen sagen, ich habe x Politiker angefragt, ob sie auftreten Das ist ein mega Thema und das nächste Jahr sind die Wahlen. Ah. Und es gibt tatsächlich <lacht> keinen Politiker, der energietechnisch zu Bern oben steht und sagt, er hey, gibt Zeit zum Kommen. Alle Ausreden bis zu den Ferien. Das ist unglaublich. <lacht> das ist unglaublich. Ja, das ist Einer hat mir jetzt auch noch zugesagt, Norgau Nationalrat. Wenn er nicht gekommen wäre, hätte ich eh lieber einen Unternehmer gehabt. Vielleicht habe ich es beides dann noch zusätzlich getroffen. Also, okay, wir leben damit. So. Bevor es weitergeht, gebe ich noch Matthias. Michael. Michael, das ist immer böse. Paul, das Wort, das ist schon der Gastgeber von heutigen Location. Wenn ihr übrigens noch Informationen habt, jede Location hat Briefkasten, wir haben den dort, auf der neuen Webseite werden wir den dort drauf haben. Wenn ihr Ideen habt, Anregungen oder Geld loswerden wollt, einfach dort reinschmeißen. Das wird dann gelehrt. Probiert dann das Beste daraus zu machen. Was ihr drin ist, einfach der Briefkasten ist für alle Belange, die ihr habt. Etwas Gutes, etwas Schlechtes, eine Idee, ein Referent, den ihr wollt vorschlagen wollt oder sonst irgendwas. Einfach nicht hinkommen. Es gibt keine Preise, aber wir sind da vor auf Feedbacks. Herzlich willkommen in Wettigen. Herzlich willkommen in Space 56, in der Event Location der Ball Engineering AG. Mein Name ist Michael Boll und ich arbeite mit so einigen Massen im Familienunternehmen. Ähm, wir sind sehr froh, dass wir heute da dabei sein können, auch ein kleiner Teil von dem Event sein. Auch mein Vater wäre sehr gern gekommen. Er hat aber jetzt Ferien. Er wäre natürlich gleich gekommen, aber immer wenn er am Freitag oder Ferien hat, wird er krank. Also das kann ja. das kann ich. Und äh, darum habe ich schon vor ein paar Tagen gewusst, dass ich heute hier stehen werde. <lacht> ähm, ja, wir hat außer dem Organisieren vom Raum, von der Bereitstellung nicht so viel mit dem Event zu tun. Da wird Was eigentlich von der KMU Swiss. Also, sie hat viel gemacht. Ja, ich. Das macht nicht, das aber sie hat viel gemacht. Ja, okay. <lacht> das Event ist wie angekündigt grundsätzlich von der KMU Swiss und der AMD Informatik GmbH. Einen langjährigen, vertrauenswürdigen Partner von uns, den wir immer gerne zusammenarbeiten und auch einigermaßen Fußball spielen können. Ja, genau. Ja. Und darum gebe ich jetzt auch gerne das Wort. Am E okay. von A und E von ja, Martin kann hier mal nächsten. Ja, ähm, eben, wir sind schon lange Partner von der Ball. Der, wir haben dort äh, zwei, drei Security-Produkte. Das erste ist Kaspersky. Und dort ist äh, Ivan Wenger von der Kaspersky. Und mit den, wie lange haben wir schon miteinander gearbeitet? Äh, ich glaube seit 2009. Ja, irgendwie so. Ah, oh. das ist ein Zeitchen. Ja, äh, ich kann da. Ah, ich tue jetzt auch noch auf Schweizerdeutsch bleiben. Die Maria wird noch auf Englisch wechseln. Ich hoffe, das ist nicht ein Problem für euch. Ich hoffe nicht. Du musst einfach sagen. Ähm, wir dann nachher, wir dann noch 
zwei, also machen wir eine kurze Fragerunde, die kann auf Deutsch sein, weil der David, der kann dann noch einen übersetzen. Er wird dann auf Russisch übersetzt, so, oder auf Ukrainisch, Entschuldigung. Und dann kann das dann zurück so dann beantwortet werden. Gut. Ähm, es sind ein paar Worte zu der Online informatik Wir sind in Winterthur, wir sind seit etwa 20 Jahren, gibt es uns. Ursprünglich ein Systemhaus, wir machen jetzt viele Security-Sachen, darum eben auch Partnerschaft mit der BOL. Ähm, wir haben das Dreier-Gremium, Dorata, sie sitzt da vorne, die ist äh, meine bessere Hälfte dort im Geschäft, muss ich sagen. <lacht> Und das andere Nabondio, er ist vor allem für das Tagesgeschäft zuständig. Äh, dann ein paar Eckdaten. Wir sind seit, Lame, also seit recht langer Zeit sind wir bei Amundi Partner. Das ist ein deutscher Hersteller für Softwareverteilung. Wir machen eben, seit ewig machen wir Security. Die Zahl da oben, die mit den 53.000 Clients, die man gibt, muss ich relativieren. Die Hälfte davon ist DTH, das ist unser grösster Grund. Die haben 27.000 Clients. Oder vielleicht sogar noch mehr. Darum eben man auch die höchste Zahl. Gut. Äh, das sind unsere drei Sachen. IT. Security, so wie ich vorhin gesagt habe, wir machen dort Audits, wir machen auch Penetration Testing, also wir können einbrechen bei euch, wenn ihr möchtet. Es geht, wir machen auch Phishing, also wir können äh, Mails machen, wo wir können bei uns Passwort auslesen können oder so, dortige Sachen machen wir auch. Wir können auch äh, Code Checking machen und so weiter und so. Eigentlich alles in Summe, was es um Security ist, was im Moment, was wir viel machen, sind Audits, komplette Audits, wo wir, wo wir dort wirklich eine ganze Firma durchleuchten. Äh, Managed Service muss ich wahrscheinlich nicht viel dazu sagen. Das ist vor allem aus der Systemtechnik, aus der Infrastruktur und Unified Endpoint Management. Ich habe mit dem Wort habe ich immer meine Mühe. Das ist eigentlich für mich immer eine Softwareverteidigung. Ich bin da noch ein an der Schule. Ähm, ja, jetzt gehe ich da schon weiter. Das sind unsere Partnerschaften. Das wirst du kennen, oder? Fudo. Das ist von der Bowl zusammen. Kaspersky und dann haben wir da die üblichen Verdächtigen. Da haben wir auch noch Z-Mail, die wir jetzt auch mit Freude machen. Also wir müssen wirklich eng mit den mit der Boot zusammen arbeiten. Ähm, da kann ich ganz schnell weitergehen. Das ist ein kleines Kundenumfeld. Also wir haben dort den TTH, also einen von den grössten Kunden. Wir haben auch Spitäler, wir haben die Industrie, Banken. Querbeet. Also mit, bei allen denen tun wir, tun wir äh, Security checken. Äh, vielleicht so etwas Kleines. Äh, wir haben jetzt gerade eine Bank mit Phishing haben wir attackiert. Das war noch recht lustig, gewesen, weil das ist auf Anweisung von der Bank IT. Und die haben dann gesagt, ihr müsst die und die und die Personen anfischen. Ja, eben so Sachen machen wir. Es ist immer spaßig, wenn man so sieht, okay, die haben draufgeklickt und dann ist man weitergegangen und jetzt passt es und so weiter und so. Passiert das auch dort? Gut, ähm, ich tue jetzt übergeben, I want to give the word to Maria. Uh, and I'm going to change to English. So, and in this time I'm going to make the change to your slide. I hope it works. <laughs> Because the last time that we tested it, it wasn't working. So, so. let's see. The system break between the Microsoft and the Apple one. Right, right. So, I know that problem. Here it is. <laughs> Now you can change to, um, how to say, presentation mode. Okay, guys, um, thank you so much for this invitation. It's uh, really an uh, honor for me. Um, I am a little bit worried, uh, nervous, but um, because uh, it's more my first experience uh, to have such speech. Um, so I apologize for possible mistakes. <laughs> um, so um, I will tell you several words about the situation in Ukraine now. Uh, I don't want to uh, tell you all this horror which is happening now in my country. I believe you see uh, all um, it on TV or social media, uh, how many people die now, all these destroyed houses and uh, injured uh, children. 
Um, what I want to tell is uh, what we do uh, to win, actually. And um, I think that uh, Ukrainian people really do now unbelievable things. Uh, for example, we uh, gathered, um, we seen, it's just uh, usual people like me, or I don't know, my colleagues, my friends. Um, Ukrainian people gathered more than uh, uh, 200 million dollars for buying uh, four Bayraktars. Um, I don't know how familiar you are with uh, military equipment. It's uh, special drones uh, which um, uh, carry... Uh, uh, the drone missiles. from Turkey? Yes. Yeah, I know which one. Uh, yes, uh, and the company is called Baikar. It is a uh, producer of these drones. And when they found out about this fact, actually they um, announced that they uh, will give uh, these four Bayraktars for free. And they really did it. Uh, so uh, four we buy, we bought, and four we um, got uh, as a present uh, from this um, uh, company. And uh, what is also important to mention uh, that we are waging war not only on the battlefield with uh, tanks and uh, uh, other stuff. Uh, now it's um, also informational and IT war. Actually, and um, <coughs> we even have uh, like special uh, department of IT specialists who are working for um, military um, needs. They created special chatbots, uh, which is uh, helping uh, for finding, for searching uh, missing people, for um, recognizing the bodies, for um, people. In case you, if you know where the enemy troops is located, or you see their movement somewhere, you can just take their uh, send uh, the location, and uh, all this, uh, you know, help uh, our army to move to the victory. Uh, so what actually I want to tell that if you have I don't know opportunity to help in some way, uh, it can be I don't know maybe some donations or some medicines. Um, please do it because it's really can be uh, decisive. Uh, you know, um, nobody expected that we will be able um, to keep um, um, the enemy uh, for such a long time. So uh, everybody thought that maybe just several days and they kept us. But uh, thanks God, we are still um, fighting, and uh, we believe that we will win. So if you uh, can help in some way, please do it. Um, and now I'm moving a little bit to personal. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Um, so um, I'm working uh, at CHI Software. My position is Vice President of Business Development. Uh, I work at uh, this company for more than six years already. Uh, a little bit later I will tell you about the company. Uh, so I'm mom of 10 years boy. Um, I was born and lived and worked in Kharkiv um, uh, all my life. Actually, I travel to Lov a lot and I like it, but um, I never uh, thought even uh, to change, you know, the place of living, but it happened. So my parents, they're still in Kharkiv. Uh, and my husband, he's a policeman, he's also in Kharkiv. It's, uh, just for your understanding, it's just 20 kilometers from uh, Russian border. So it's very close and uh, uh, we weren't, we, Kharkiv wasn't occupied actually, but it's, um, we have attacks every day. And uh, in Kharkiv people even know when uh, uh, the city was bo will be bombed. So usually it's 11 um, p.m. And at 3 a.m. So people just waiting for this time, then several hours, and uh, then <laughs> we can go sleep. Okay, so now I live in Italy, um, in Rimini, just near the Rimini, with my friend Maria. She's <laughs> working with me, uh, my colleague and my friend. Uh, we um, left uh, the Ukraine together, and we have four children. <laughs> my sister, my son, and Maria has also twins. So I know we are living together in one apartment, like one family. Um, 
so actually hundreds of people yeah, come to Rimini, not to even to Rimini, I believe that in Switzerland you also have a lot of, yeah, yes, uh, I know that uh, some of you also helped a lot. Um, so, yeah. Okay, let's um, <laughs> go to business. Um, so, my presentation will be about, actually, my company, um, what we do, how we work, um, actually, and who we are. So, CHI software, is you, here you can see uh, the leadership board, uh, Vladimir Dunimak, our founder, uh, and uh, his managing partner. He established the company in 2006, uh, and um, actually, um, he always uh, responsible for general management. Evgeny Chernyak is our president and investor. He is honored uh, economist of Ukraine. He joined uh, um, the company uh, five years ago. Uh, and now we have two owners, Vladimir and Evgeny. Bogdan Stepanka, our CEO, uh, Chief Executive Officer, and me. <laughs> you already know me. Um, so we have now um, more than 600 um, specialists. Uh, it's medium size for Ukrainian companies, actually. Um, as I mentioned, the company was established in 2006, and now we have um, four offices. Uh, around you, uh, around the world, actually. So the first one uh, in Limassol, the Cyprus. We also have office in Kobe, Japan, uh, Philadelphia, and Lviv. Actually, in Lviv we have two offices: one in Lviv, and one more, and one more office we have close to um, Polish border. And uh, ten countries uh, where our tech specialists are now working. Um, okay, so this is the geography of our clients. Um, the majority of our clients, they are from the United States and Canada, uh, uh, about uh, maybe 40% from Europe, mainly it's uh, um, Denmark, uh, Luxembourg, Netherlands, but hopefully we will have more clients from Switzerland. <coughs> and also we have um, clients uh, in Singapore and Japan. Uh, here you can see um, one of the biggest companies we work with. Uh, actually, honestly speaking, the size of the company doesn't important for us. We work both with startups and with well-established companies. But here you can see the names um, which you can hear. Uh, for example, Media Market, it's a well-known company uh, in Switzerland, H&M, Vodafone, uh, Sephora, all yours. <laughs> Uh, Sephora, a J-Bill Corporation, it's a big United States company that uh, provides uh, um, hardware and one box. Uh, so this is um, our clients, uh, some testimonials, uh, feedbacks uh, about uh, work with us. Um, as I told uh, Herman that one of the main channels how we get the clients, it's uh, references. Uh, about uh, maybe 30% from our um, clients, they come, us, come to us because of the device. And um, like trustworthy reputation, um, maybe the most important thing for us, especially now, uh, only uh, good feedbacks and um, the references allow us to keep uh, the size of the company, to allow us to keep all the stuff. Uh, we <coughs> keep 100% of uh, our specialists. Nobody uh, will fire it, so it's really uh, means a lot for us. Um, several words about our recognitions, <laughs> the most pleasant part. Uh, so we are Microsoft, um, a golden partner. Uh, we are um, a partner of AWS. Uh, we are certified ICO, and this is uh, our uh, prize from Clutch. Uh, we uh, got uh, the top uh, companies B2B. Uh, what uh, actually this uh, certification means is that the majority of our backend engineers, especially backend engineers, DevOps, uh, they are certified with AWS and uh, Microsoft. So it means that they uh, technology level, it's proven not only by our words or resumes, um, they have to be certified and uh, it allows us like, to keep 
is a high level of technology specialist. Uh, by the way, it's my uh, colleagues, Victoria and Andre, and we work together in sales department. Um, so, actually, um, it's business domains we work with. Um, it's insurance, finance, real, real estate, consulting, logistics, retail, travel agencies. Um, for all these um, business, business domains, we created projects that can be different starting, I don't know, from big CRM systems for logistics uh, till some mobile web applications for I don't know, retail or Uh, okay, on this slide you can see uh, actually the stages of product development. We uh, started from discovery phase, defining the scope of work, then we have planning, architecture, prototyping, MVP, and then uh, when MVP is successful we are moving to uh, product development with uh, future improvements and future support when uh, the product is ready on the market. Uh, so I come to the end already. So um, how we now operate uh, during the war? Uh, <coughs> actually, uh, it's strange uh, to say, but uh, thanks to the COVID and all these uh, restrictions, uh, uh, we uh, had opportunity to prepare to for remote work. Uh, we have. Um, um, this is star links for example they are supporting us a lot uh, which allow us to have a stable internet connection connection everywhere and so and before the war we uh, were lucky to open office in Lviv it's western part of Ukraine there is no war action so the, we have relocated uh, all the, our specialists there we rented um, uh, flats apartments there and there now they live and work um, so 90% of our employees already successfully migrated to Ukrainian regions or abroad. So it's also a very important fact. Uh, well, and uh, now we are working from Spain, from uh, Poland, from me, for example, from Italy, from Cyprus. Uh, and uh, we, we try actually to keep um, the same conditions, the same uh, operations as we, was, as we had uh, before war. Um, yeah. Well, this is <laughs> how grateful we are that uh, we have opportunity to talk here in front of you and uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> and this is my team. Uh, it's our engineers, my head of marketing, my colleagues, my friends. We can ask in English or we can or you can ask in German, Swiss German, they will then make translation in, in, into Ukrainian, not Russian, Ukrainian, <laughs> sorry. Um, I have a question. How many people are now outside from your company? Uh, about 200 people. 200 people. Okay. They are all over Europe. Uh, yes, some of them already on Bali. <laughs> 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 yeah, but the majority uh, live in Poland, uh, yeah, on Cyprus. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Germany also. Okay, yeah. okay. And Germany, Italy. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter actually. Uh, okay. But and they have located. And how many are in Leaf? Uh, yeah. About 400 uh, specialists. Oh, they are okay. yeah, still in the um, uh, western part of Ukraine. Uh, but, um, you know, it was their decision uh, to leave uh, in the country because um, a lot of them, actually, the majority is volunteering. And, um, they have uh, parents, they have uh, and, no, grandparents, they, uh, which uh, don't have opportunity to leave the country due to health conditions or other stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and they uh, just make a decision uh, to stay with them. The, the volunteer, you have, made, you have to describe this 
maybe more so the so the audience can understand this. Okay. Uh, so it <laughs> can be absolutely different. For example, Maria's uh, husband, he is uh, driving a car, he is uh, um, providing with the food um, to the elder people who mm -hmm. doesn't have opportunity or buy or um, go to the um, shop, uh, to the market, because now it's uh, really dangerous. Uh, some guys uh, gathering uh, money, donations, uh, buying cars mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. our um, mm -hmm. soldiers. Yeah. Um, so absolutely, absolutely different um, things. Yeah. Somebody uh, gathering clothes and provide them to the mm -hmm. hospitals mm -hmm. because soldiers come uh, to the hospital. They are dirty. Uh, they are bloody and uh, there is no, not enough uh, clothes just to change it. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> we have a lot of work to do actually. Uh, and uh, even, you know, destroyed uh, houses, uh, uh, you need to, to um, remove the bricks uh, with the hand because uh, uh, there can be um, the people still alive. That's why everything, uh, when the house is destroyed, you should do everything with your hands, mm -hmm. without mm -hmm. any equipment, uh, nothing, just... Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, people who still stay there, they yeah. just go and help our farmers. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. okay. um, I, I will switch to German now, when, they, when it's on the Frankish. Bitte stellen. Wir können es auch dann übersetzen. Ähm, ich bin nicht sicher, ob alle alles verstanden haben. Ich hoffe, ich hoffe schon. Ähm, wir haben noch eine, nur eine kleine Weiterleitung gemacht, dass für dich okay ist. Wir machen noch ein paar bisschen ab und dann können wir dann noch äh, viele Fragen und Sachen und reden und schauen, was wir machen können. Uh, I'm going to switch back to, uh, to English again. I asked her once in team meeting what, what is actually the most needing and you told me work. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Sorry? No, no. Oh, that's okay. 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 And um, for my opinion it's helping the Ukrainians. It's now in Bulgaro, it's now they're talking about. Yeah. And the other part is actually just keep the economy running uh, with projects in IT and stuff like that. Uh, yes, because actually IT field now <coughs> it is, um, oh, I would say, the only field which is supporting uh, the economy. Uh, because uh, a lot of the majority actually uh, of IT companies they are donating, they are paying uh, taxes uh, and it allows us uh, to keep um, um, the economy on some level. Uh, because now unfortunately we had problems with that agriculture, with the building, with the structure. Um, so what, um, yeah, now I do think it's uh, the most important uh, field which uh, support the economy of Ukraine and of course uh, we uh, need uh, work, we need projects, uh, we want work and uh, we can do it, uh, so yeah. Okay. But right now do you have plans if the war is finished to go back because you have then destroyed the infrastructure and all this stuff? How you can pla uh, work then at home or in, in the Ukraine? So? Um, you see, uh, Unfortunately, I don't have the map of Ukraine, I will show you. Okay. Uh, but actually, um, and not all the cities is destroyed. Uh, they destroyed only uh, the part which is near the Russian border. For example, Mariupol, uh, Donetsk, Lugansk, Kharkiv. It's uh, um, the, city, the cities which is close to Russian border. Uh, but uh, such uh, cities like uh, Kyiv, for example, uh, Vinnytsia, Lviv, yeah, you see th this part, Poland, Romania, this <coughs> one, it's safe. Uh, the, most the most dangerous is Kharkiv, Lugansk, Dnipropetrovsk, Donetsk, this part, Mariupol, and Odessa, this one. 
so we have already offices in Lviv. Uh, we had office in Kiev, but now we uh, take a decision um, to close it for some time because, unfortunately, Kiev also sometimes is struggling uh, from um, because of uh, Kiev uh, sometimes bombed. Uh, but this part of uh, Ukraine is uh, safe. Uh, actually, after the war, I was in Lviv already, and I plan to go there next week. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, maybe we will open uh, several more offices. Uh, we are still considering it. Uh, but also, currently, we are working on opening uh, the office in Poland, choosing the location. Uh, we have several options uh, in uh, Warsaw and Wrocław. Uh, I uh, can understand actually people, especially young people who um, want to relocate somewhere, but again for us it's important to keep our people in our company. Uh, that's why uh, we are working on, closing, uh, on opening office in uh, Europe and uh, on the western part of Ukraine. I'm going to switch now to German. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Excuse me. May I ask a question? Sure, sure. sure. Um, how is it to work with the people which still live there? Is there a because is it possible to work a normal day, or do they have to stop work due to the war, or do you have uh, some impact uh, due to the war there? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, if I say that there is no impact, of mm -hmm. course it won't be true. Uh, there is an impact, uh, of course, um, but um, due to the fact that the majority of the engineers they have relocated, uh, now they don't relocate it to western part of Ukraine. There is no, um, they have normal con working conditions. Uh, uh, but again, of course, all the people, uh, we still have uh, relatives, friends um, in Kharkiv. And uh, when we read this news, when we uh, um, had some unpleasant information, of course, it can impact. But um, uh, you know, I it's not even about IT field. It's uh, about uh, <laughs> Ukrainian. Um, in total, uh, we want to work because we understand that it is the only way to win, uh, to keep our freedom, uh, and. Um, uh, if uh, some of our guys somewhere in this field, we always uh, warn about this information, about this fact, uh, the clients, so that they can understand that they may have problems with internet connection. They can sometimes not join the meeting, uh, but um, <coughs> the clients knows about it. They aware about this fact, and it's their decision if they are ready for it. Uh, but uh, <laughs> what is uh, uh, curious is that um, I have a friend, uh, he's working with me also, he's uh, um, one of the best our uh, front-end engineers and he decided to live, uh, to stay in the Kharkiv mm -hmm. with the uh, parents. Um, and I see that in Kharkiv there is an uh, alarm now that uh, the rockets should uh, come in 10 minutes in five minutes uh, and uh, Maxim uh, he is always online always online and uh, I see that he has a meeting now and he joined this meeting I don't know how I asked him Maxim how, how? Um, he said I have to work I like my work and uh, uh, nothing should stop me and we work <laughs> it's <laughs> strange to hear but uh, it is what it is um, you said, excuse me, you said you had seven days yeah. driving from from here through Moldavia, right? Yes. Yeah. And then here, also, Sie sind sieben Tage sind die gefahren zu, von da über Moldavia auf Italien. Da muss man sich das mal vorstellen. Also in der Schweiz sieben Tage fahren gar gar nicht. Die sind wirklich. And what, each day is 16 hours, right? Yes. Also das sind, das, das ist eine rechte Strecke. Wenn man mit one dog <laughs> and uh, your children and everything. Yeah. But why this long time? Because of the blog posts. All ah. the country was blocked and uh, ah, there okay. was a huge traffic jams 
and we are moving from Kharkiv to Moldova, Romania, Hungary, and uh, to Italy. And uh, actually, in Europe, we traveled only for maybe three days, but we drive, uh, I don't know, maybe eight, nine hours, and then we sleep. It was already, you know, we, we feel that we are uh, in safe. Uh, but uh, when we drive from Kharkiv to Moldova, it takes uh, five days, uh, four right. days, yeah, four yeah. days, four days, yeah, and we were driving <coughs> 16 hours per day, um, but we couldn't stop because, uh, first of all, our arms, uh, we, uh, we were afraid, uh, <laughs> and uh, um, huge uh, traffic jams because all people from this part of Ukraine, uh, decided to move to western part of Ukraine. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And a lot of blog posts, uh, every car was checked, uh, was checked uh, the luggage, the everything, if we have some, I don't know. Um, in the beginning you mentioned you went, you will go back to Ukraine this or next week, I guess. Yes. If you go back, does it Take again so a week, and if you oh, come no, back to it, no, no, again. no, no, <laughs> no, no, everything is How much is it more right easier. Now? <laughs> yeah, it's about uh, I don't know, maybe eight hours uh, yeah. uh, because I took plane uh, from Italy to Warsaw. Uh, it's just several two hours, if I'm not mistaken, and then I will take a bus uh, from Warsaw to Lviv. It uh, will take about seven hours. So now it's easier to the fact that you live in Italy or? Uh, now it is easier because um, we don't have blog posts. Uh, the government make a decision that it's, it wasn't so effective like we expected. Uh, so now you can travel uh, much easier. Uh, the second <laughs> problem that we uh, have huge problems with the um, petrol, with the gas. Uh, yeah, and uh, people d prefer now to or public transport like me bus or trains because it's uh, very difficult <coughs> to find enough uh, fuel uh, for cars. <coughs> and of course now uh, there is no such huge queues on the border, uh, so no now everything is uh, much easier. But the infrastructure now, the last 130 days in the west of Ukraine, this is running. The, the, the infrastructure, this is running only the east and south side. Yes, yeah, so the, the, the infrastructure is running like Chernihiv, Kiev, this part of Ukraine. So, and this part of Ukraine, they are supporting this. So, uh, all the businesses, uh, I don't know, restaurants, uh, some shops. Uh, um, uh, working in western part of Ukraine, but this one, oh yeah. No. yeah, and now uh, for us it's uh, the most important, it's uh, uh, not allow uh, Russian army uh, to go in the middle of the country. Yeah. Is somewhere else? Yeah, right. I have one question. How, how did the COVID crisis help you to provide uh, infrastructure or software that you are ready now to work remote because we have to stay at home. Yeah. We, we learned Teams, yeah. all this this yeah. kind of software. Maybe this helped you a bit to be ready now to go abroad and uh, work outside, or did you yes. have COVID, have to stay at home <laughs> and work at home? Or yes. how how was COVID crisis before? Uh, it helped uh, not a bit, it helped much actually, uh, because uh, you're absolutely right, uh, before the COVID nobody uh, like using so much uh, Teams, I don't know, Zoom and uh, other applications, uh, but uh, we uh, stayed at home for two years. Uh, if previously, for example, we worked on um, uh, PC, now we are switching all to laptops. Uh, we uh, used to work, you know, remotely with this, uh, all these online meetings, uh, because of course, if we didn't have COVID, yeah, uh, then just for one day switch to uh, online meetings, um, we had we we would have 
huge struggles. Uh, but uh, we, uh, thanks to COVID, we have all laptops, we are all mobile. Um, we are um, already used to all these online meetings and we have schedule. We understand how the teams work remotely. Um, and uh, it's really, was very helpful. Good. <laughs> Question? <coughs> yes, yep. about security. Uh, you make security <laughs> so fast. So, but do you recognize now more cyber attacks from the Russian side? Because even I see that on my server that I have. And from the military point of view, normally you should start to destroy the uh, information infrastructure. Yeah. Did you see something before the, the war started that something going on from the Russian side? In the, no. uh, in the IT environment? In, no, nothing. Uh, more, uh, moreover, uh, we closed with the Russian market um, very closely. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have, you know, mixed teams, for example, when client, our clients work not only with our company, but with uh, a company, I don't know, from Moscow, for example. And uh, it was uh, like uh, just uh, part team from our side, part team from their side. Uh, so n nobody. Uh, we, we never faced uh, some um, problems or we uh, didn't see any risk from them regarding the security. But we learned yeah. in the military the first day will see destroy the communication. That's right. right. Yeah. And that's the reason why yeah. about the Starlink. Because without Starlink there would be a, a big problem. Because first what the Russian did is destroying all the internet network everything and Elon Musk put some satellites more over the Ukraine and so they can uh, they can still work with the Starlink. Yeah, we have IT community in Ukraine. Uh, it is called IT cluster and every um, well established um, IT company uh, like is um, participating is, is in this community and thanks to IT cluster uh, Ukrainian IT companies uh, would store links. So we just uh, send the request, for example, that we need, uh, I, I don't know, three, for example. And uh, within two weeks, we uh, got them. Yeah. Good. Question uh, the, the image. Okay, we know uh, James Bond, you know, uh, it's the Russian Ukraine, and now. G software is a is the headquarter is in Ukraine. No. Is no. No. Uh, change. We, ha we change headquarters, yes, uh, uh, because um, previously, yes, we have in Ukraine. Uh, but now, again, due to security reasons, um, uh, we change it to Cyprus, to Limassol. Uh, and headquarters is there. Uh, but um, we still have uh, two operating. Uh, development center in western part of Ukraine where our engineers can work in office I if they want. Uh, but it's um, now they have the like, opportunity to choose whether to work remotely from, I don't know, the place they live or come to office. So. Uh, you see a difference 12 months now and 12 months later for the, the image from software from your team in Europe? today and 12 months go back? <laughs> <laughs> of course I see. In the security, is it special? Um, well, uh, you know, I, I see the difference uh, between um, the projects, um, between our clients, because before, uh, 12 uh, months ago, again, we have planning, you know, we have everything is structured. Uh, of course, now it's, um, it uh, takes much more effort to keep everything on the same level as we have had before. Um, and it's uh, uh, not easy work, uh, but uh, I would say that we, <laughs> we do it. Um, yeah, but uh, if we, we, t we talk uh, about, uh, again, security, yeah, uh, we um, don't keep any information on some hardware or something like that, yeah. We always using, uh, again, AWS, um, I don't know, Azure, we using Starlinks, 
if we have some special request, we're using special platforms for security uh, for engineering work. Some question more? Are you are you able to help or are doing helping the Ukrainian army? Of course. To uh, to for cyber cyber security for Ukraine or to uh, attack the Russian yes security. Uh, yes uh, but we have like special IT troops and uh, our engineers they have to pass several stages of interview before they were uh, accepted uh, and uh, not um, the company help uh, the help. Um, Certain IT specialists who passed uh, successfully the interviews, they uh, join these IT troops and then they work. Uh, but again, it's uh, so some of our uh, colleagues, employees, uh, they joined it. Uh, but we have um, a special agreement with the government that uh, uh, the IT specialists they will uh, continue to get their salaries, we pay this salary. Uh, but they will work full time on um, military needs. Uh, but um, yeah, honestly speaking, we <coughs> even don't know what they do because it's very confidential. Uh, what we know is that uh, just some small things, I believe that it's just uh, uh, like um, chatbots. But again, it's, you know, we can't. <laughs> is, that, is that a possibility that uh, the Russian cyber attacks are not so uh, successful? Uh, they, uh, no, I, I don't think so. Uh, I, I don't think so. Actually, as, uh, we see uh, that our hyper attacks are much more effective now than uh, there. Because um, every time on Russian TV you can see when they are, um, I don't know, movies or uh, t t news uh, stopped and they starting, for example, to uh, show what is going on in Ukraine, in Mariupol, for example. It's just an example, but anyway, I, I believe that our uh, IT specialist is uh, stronger. Some more question more? Do you want to speak Deutsch? The man is so schnell, bis auf aufgrund of the Tag. We see that the dog with that um, this help for Boche. If um, you are thirsty, probably you talked a lot. And we wish you a clean and good. We have a clean and good product for you. And we can do the super up again. And we can definitely know the answer to the question. I can also an abschluss. Thank you. Thank you that we did it. Thank you very much. For those who organized it. Vor Ort, sprich an der Informatik, ist ein Gucci. Mit dem Gucci können Sie ein Symposium kommen am März und dann natürlich noch im, kann ich sagen, im März und im September. Genau. Also, das ist der Hermann. Danke. Danke.